Welcome to Making Dilutions. In this lesson, we're going to look at how to change the concentration of a solution, specifically how to dilute it. Sometimes in the lab, you need a solution with a specific concentration. Now, not every possible concentration is stocked in a chemical storeroom. So frequently, you have to deal with a set concentration of solution that you then have to change. Let's say you have a supply of one molar potassium dichromate as a stock solution, and you want to make a certain amount of 0.2 molar solution for use in the lab. Well, you could prepare this 0.2 molar solution by diluting the one molar solution. Now let's see how this is done. We're going to start by looking at just the molarity of each one of these. A one molar solution, the one molar concentrated solution, the definition of that is the number of moles per liter. The one molars are concentrated solution, and it's going to have a particular volume, and that's going to be the volume of the concentrated solution. We can also look at the diluted one we want to make. The diluted one we want is 0.2 molar. We want that much, and that's diluted. That's going to equal the moles of potassium dichromate over the liters, the amount of volume of our diluted solution. Now we're just diluting the solution, so the moles in both cases are equal. This is constant between the two solutions. So I can rewrite each of these equations, each of these relationships, in terms of moles, and that would look like this. The molarity of the concentrated solution times the liters of concentrated solution equals moles. And on this side, on the diluted side, the molarity of the diluted solution times the liters, or the volume, of diluted solution equals moles. Now if both of these are the same, then I can set this expression equal to this expression. And that's going to show me how to dilute the solution. In fact, the more general way of writing it is that the molarity of the first solution times the volume of the first solution will equal the molarity of the diluted times the volume of the diluted. M1 times V1 equals M2 times V2. This is a general equation for figuring out how to dilute a solution. Now that we've seen where this dilution equation comes from, let's use it to solve a problem. Here we have a situation. You need 150 milliliters of 0.2 molar calcium chloride solution. How would you prepare that from a one molar solution? So here's my setup. M1 times V1 equals M2 times V2. It doesn't matter what I pick as M1 or V1 as long as it's consistent. So I can use the diluted information as M1 or as M2. Just for this problem, I'm going to use this as M1. So the molarity of the diluted is 0.2 molar. So I have 0.2 times the volume, 150 milliliters, equals M2, which is the other molarity. So here's the other one, which is just 1, times the volume of the other molarity solution. So I don't know that. That's going to be my V2. I don't know how much of the one molar solution would be equivalent to 150 milliliters of the 0.2 molar solution. And that's what I'm trying to figure out. So if I now solve for V2, I'm going to see that the volume of the one molar solution that I need is 30 milliliters. Now it's important to note that I did not need to change milliliters into liters because the units of volume are consistent from side to side. If I put in milliliters into the equation, the other variable should also be in milliliters. If I have liters on one side of the equation, the other side should also have liters as the unit. So as long as you're consistent about the units you use for volume, it doesn't matter which units you use. The question is asking, how would I prepare 150 milliliters of 0.2 molar calcium chloride? Well, what this has done so far, the work I've done so far, has told me that 30 milliliters of this one molar solution would give me the right number of moles. Now I just need the right amount of volume. So I would need to take 30 milliliters of the one molar solution, and I will need to add the rest of the volume in water. So I would add 120 milliliters of water. That would bring me to a total volume of 150. Essentially what this is saying is that to prepare 150 milliliters of the 0.2 molar solution, I need to take 30 milliliters of the 1 molar solution and dilute it down by adding 120 milliliters of water. 
That wraps up our lesson on making dilutions. Write down any questions you have in your notes and bring them with you to class.